<laughs> How the devil are Yeah. Okay, bit of a weird one today. So I had a comment uh, recently on my CD6007 Moran CD player. And the comment said, it was from Herman Carrizo, I think it is. Sorry, Herman, if I haven't pronounced your name correctly. And he said that the, the advertised DAC that's supposed to be in the Moran CD player, which is the AK4490, uh, it's not in there. So he opened, opened up the CD player, had a little look inside to give it a clean and the dust out, and he thought he'd check the DAC. Turns out the DAC is an ESS DAC, not an AK DAC. What's going on, he thought. You know, so he wrote to Morant saying, what the deuce? Um, but he said nothing back. So I thought, you know, ah, that can't be true. I've seen it in cheap amps from China, you know, the cheap little ones you get, and they advertise a, a DAC on Amazon. And you get it, and it's a completely different DAC. It's a cheaper one. But Morant's are a big player. They wouldn't do that, would they? Computer says nah. So it turns out there was a fire in the AKM factory back in late 2020. Now they produced the AK DAX, okay? Uh, so it looks like there's been a bit of a shortage and um, uh, they can't get an, produce enough DAX to go in all this hi-fi equipment. So the hi-fi manufacturers are all panicking, the audio manufacturers are all going, what do we do? So. <laughs> You know, they, they, they resort into putting in different DACs in the equipment. So I was like, well, let me let me check in mine. I just wanna have a little look. So let's get mine open. Okay, got it here. I've taken it out of my hi-fi stack. Get it open, have a look inside and see how it compares to the advertised pictures it's showing on their website. There's not many screws to take out. There's two here, one here, one here. One, two, three, that side. One, two, three, this side. So just take these out and it should just be easy enough to lift off then. And there you go. As soon as I took off the lid and looked inside, I thought, that definitely looks a little bit different. This all looks the same here. Then when it comes to this board here, this is very different. Now in the picture online, I'll do a I'll do a side by side comparison in a sec. But there's a lot of capacitors around here. Obviously, all the capacitors are missing. Where are they gone? What's happened to them? Okay. And the DAC's normally sat around here. Well, the DAC's all the way over here. Now it's a very small DAC. Let's see if I can kind of zoom in for you. So that's the DAC there. Uh, and I had to get my little microscope lens out and Lo and behold, I took a picture of it, and guess what? It's an ESS, ES9010 K2M DAC, not the AK4490 DAC as advertised. Here they are, side by side. So this one on the left is the one that shows on their website, on the UK website anyway, this is what they show. And on the, on the right, is what's inside of mine. Now, as you can see, that most of this looks pretty standard, all the same. That looks all the same there. There's a label on mine, but I don't think that's any different there. The tray looks the same. All this looks the same. Yeah, yeah, all checks out. But when you get over here, what the deuce? <laughs> it's a completely different board. Now, I think the reason for this is can't just change the DAC. You have to change the whole board. Okay, so you can't. So they've what they had to do. They've had to change, rearrange, or redo this whole board here to so they can put the ESS DAC in. So that's where the DAC should sit there. And look at all these capacitors around it. Okay, it's like no capacitors around. What's going on? There's the DAC. Well, a couple of capacitors. So these are set out all differently. It's a completely different board. So. I don't know how good these components are on this different board to this one, but I know that the the Sabre DAC or the ESS DAC, even though it's good, it's not as good as the AK DAC. Um, so you can see they've made quite substantial changes there on this board. And there you go. This is not a conspiracy theory. 
It's as plain as the nose on your face. I saw it with my own eyes. Could not believe it. Who would have thought Marantz, a big company like that, would be trying to pull the wool over its customers' eyes? I'm very surprised. Um, you know, look, things happen, I understand, but you've got to make the customer and consumer aware so they can make the choice then whether or not they still want to buy your product. I know you've got your profits to keep and your top line and your bottom line, okay, but you can't fleece the customer. You've got to let them know. Yeah, the ESS DAC is a decent DAC, and if I'd known about it, would I have bought the CD player? Probably still, yes. But I would have liked to have known. Come on, Marantz, you're better than that. Um, anyway, what do you guys think? Have any of you had this issue? And also, I've also got a PM6007 amplifier that's supposed to have the same DAC. And I bought this only a few months before the CD player. So it wouldn't surprise me if in the, in the amplifier, they've also changed the DAC over to a different DAC which is really unfair of Marantz. And if they have put a statement out, I haven't seen it, it's not really plain at all. It's still being advertised on their website that it's the AK4490. Um, they haven't changed it or anything like that at all. So as far as we're aware, when we buy it, we look at the specs, it says in there, that's the DAC. So we accept, you know, that that's what it is. Uh, so I would, uh, anyway, it is what it is. I'm, I'm a little bit dumbfounded. I can't believe it. But anyway, so look, I've uh, written to Marantz uh, to see if they can give me a statement or some explanation onto it. They haven't um, got back to me as yet. Uh, if they do, I will let, let everybody know, um, see what they have to say. Maybe they have written a statement on the back of someone's hand. <laughs> and if you want to see it, he'll show you. <laughs> I don't know. But I couldn't find anyway. Like I said, you know, please help me, guys. Uh, if you've seen a statement by Moran saying they've had to change the DAX over because of a shortage, then please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know. Or if any of you had this issue as well with the DAX being changed, changed over. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. If you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want. Super thanks is there also. Much appreciated. And I'll catch you oof, in the next video.